so this is the official website of a peppermint os this is the link or the uh, website so let's go to the peppermint os debian and uh, today is uh, like a rc for 2023 i'm making a video of uh, rc for 2023 so there is no release note i guess here so already tested i made a video so this is at the end of the video if you want to download these files you can download by clicking on download the files it will take us to the like uh, ostn of the peppermint os so the file size of uh, peppermint os is like a 1.46 which was uh, uploaded i like uh, uh, 19th of june let's click on download it's going to take a few seconds and uh, it should be started as you can see it's almost like a 1.5 GB and I'm using a VPN for it so this is my speed so it will take like a 3 to 4 minutes depends on your P, uh, internet speed so I don't see any uh, like a release note anything like this so it's like a just uh, let's see this the RC is based on Debian Stable Edition. I already made a video, so if you want, you can just skip the um, to the main part of installation on the uh, complete live boot. So these are all the some of the information. If you want to go through all the information, you can go through all these things. So if you want to download, you can go to the official website like Peppermint OS. Just go to the uh, right side you should be like available like a peppermint os debian 64 bit rc for 2023 click on it and the download will be available right here we are making a video on peppermint os so here is a boot menu let's quickly boot it in a live boot by going to peppermint os amd64 and it's based on debian as you can see and this is a release candidate edition which was uh, like uh, announced or released like a uh, two three days ago i guess so I'm running it on a virtualization which is a VMware with 80 GB of hard disk, 4 GB of RAM and uh, with 12th gen i5 processor and on the laptop. So this part is only for the people who want to know what you are running. So they, if, you, if they ask in the comment section, this is the information for you. So again, it's a release candidate. Uh, I'm going to show you the installation process, everything like a release note, everything. If release note is allowed, uh, announced or uh, released i'm going to show that also if it's not let's uh, explore and find out what's new on our own so again uh, excuse me as you can see i think this is a new logo of the peppermint OS. usually it was like a round thing but right now it's changed again it is taking like a few more seconds usually the linux distro should take like a a maximum of a minute or one and a half minute or the minimum of 30 to 40 seconds it completely depends on other uh, uh, pieces because uh, it depends on the system uh, also if you have a good pc you should be uh, booted in uh, way in few more seconds like if you have a fast pc you should be good and it will be fast in booting so it took like almost 30 seconds i guess let me first quickly change the display resolution because uh, it looks pretty odd right now let's uh, go to the settings and change the display settings here i think this is the xfc desktop environment it is so this is the welcome screen suggested peppermint hub pep docs build log everything is here let me close this thing let's change this first we need to choose the like a uh, task manager or the system monitor and see how much of resources are consuming right now so the memory is almost like a 940 mb and it's a xfc desktop environment even uh, in any linux distro if it's xfc desktop environment this is the base of the uh, uh, ram and the cpu because uh, whatever the uh, linux distro it is uh, if you have xfc desktop environment uh, the ram resources uh, will be like uh, 902 mb to 1.1 gb this is the uh, common uh, numbers so you need to remember this thing or a tip from me 
so this is a cpu and the ram so these are all the processors running right now if you choose xfc desktop environment these are the numbers in the beginning which should be like a 900 mb to 1.1 uh, gb so these are all the cpu and ram cpu is also going good which is almost like a th under 30 percent so let's close this thing before that let's check the version of the task manager which is 1.5.5 i think this is the latest version so let's open the terminal and uh, type in few commands to get the distro info inxi-sv8 this is the command which will grab the complete distro information let's scroll it down sorry scroll it up the host is a pep os live and the kernel version is a 6.1.0-9 and a 64-bit compiler gcc version is a 12.2.0 and xfc version is the latest version which is a 4.18.1 gtk version is a 3.24.36 and the distro is a peppermint os bookworm uh, if it says bookworm means it's a debian base uh, 12 debian 12 the code name of a debian 12 is a bookworm uh, if you want to check that out uh, of the debian 12 uh, bookworm i made a complete uh, desktop environments of a debian 12 kde plasma lxqt everything i uh, almost completed every desktop environment of a debian 12 if you check if you want to check that out you can check that out in my channel which are available in like a few days ago or you can just search in like a debian 12 uh, in my channel you should be getting like a plenty of videos of a debian 12 like a complete desktop environment so you can choose the any desktop environment and i already showed you uh, I, I'll, I'll like i showed like a live boot how to download the live boot of a debian 12 so if you want to check that out you can check that out in my channel so let's get back to the video so wm x wm version is a 4.18.0 vt is a 7 light dm version is a 1.26 or 26.0 so it says as a vmware in the machine under the machine because i'm running it on a vmware which i already mentioned and this is the ram consumption and this is my cpu if you want to check that out you can pause the video and check that out so let's go to the graphics and uh, check other information like a vmwgfx version is a 2.20.0 let's scroll it down and xorge version is 1.21.1.7 display is a x11 and xfwm version is a 4.18.0 so these are all the monitor sizes available as you can see or the display resolutions available right here and api one open gl version is a 4.3 mesa is a 22.3.6 so let's scroll it down and under the audio devices it says like a elsa version is here and the pulse audio version is like a 16.1 let's scroll it down and we should be seeing like 80 gb of hard disk uh, because i'm choosing like a i'm using 80 gb of hard disk for my vmware so it says as a 80 gb let's scroll it down and uh, find the other information like a process running right now at 265 uptime is a three minute wake ups are 21 init system d version is a 252 and the gcc version already mentioned and bash version is a 5.2.15 and inxi version is a 3.3.26 let's type in like other commands like a neofetch if it's uh, pre-installed neofetch is available as you can see there is a complete information here let's type in like a cat colon slash etc colon slash issue and hit enter so it says as a peppermint os new linux so let's type in the commands which is inxi this is the same command as the above but in a short form let's type in inxi dash small b let's type in inxi dash capital g so these are all the complete distro information so we got every information of the distro 
so let's finally uh, type in the hstop hstop command is not found no problem let's close this thing and let's launch the uh, internet browser and let's go to the official website i don't think there is a internet browser here it's not an internet browser let's see it's not an internet browser so let's close this thing there is no internet browser i'm going to show you how to download uh, in my windows pc i'm not going to install any apps right now because i want to keep that everything like this so let's go to the installation so this is the installer telemaras installer 3.2.61 for peppermint again this is the uh, basic or a common uh, installation step in the linux distro you can see everything will be same in every linux distro there is nothing complicated in the installation just uh, you need to i'm going to go show you uh, in a uh, fast way because this is the common things first you need to choose your language choose any language then the location you need to provide your location you don't need to provide the actual location you can to provide anything uh, if you want to customize anything like here you can customize it on your own click on next you need to choose your keyboard layout click on next after choosing choose the language and uh, you need to be very careful here because you need to first choose the hard disk whatever hard disk you want to install you can choose it here if you want to delete the current operating system media files everything and erase everything and install the peppermint OS, you need to choose the erase disk if you want dual boot you go with the manual partitioning so if you want to choose here anything you can choose like here if you want to encrypt you can encrypt by providing the password on the both side which should be same and uh, bootloader location i'm choosing the automatic you can uh, do that later if you want it's clearly customizable it's clearly up to you click on next you need to provide your username and password for example i'm choosing like a unboxing if everything is going good you should be seeing a tick mark here so let's type in the password if uh, you do you type anything wrong you should be seeing a cross mark here so if everything is good you need to click on next again uh, try to uh, write down the password or uh, uh, give the strong password it's always a good option to write down the password so let's click on next and here is the summary of what you choose in the previous installation step and after clicking on install it's going to take like a 5 to 10 minutes uh, to install it completely depends on your pc and uh, pc speed or the linux distro also sometimes if it's a stable edition it should be very fast if it's a beta edition or a development edition god knows how much time it takes so this is the installation step so let me close this thing because i don't want to install it so that's the reason i'm going to show, quit it there so let's check out the desktop features like a calendar date and time volume notifications this is a snaptic package manager i guess now it's a terminal terminal version is here that was the updates to check how to update so peppermint update powers internet connection let's check the panel version also if you want to customize you can customize here going to properties selector all the things it's all uh, like xfc so you already know how to customize the xfc desktop environment so let's check the version of a file manager let's quickly open uh, some of the apps and see how much of uh, how much uh, good this uh, handles this linux system handles let's open like a 9 to 10 apps and see how good this linux distro will handle the applications like a bulk rename no we don't need that let's go to accessories we don't need anything here let's open notepad on the graphics we have nothing just a image magic so let's open that thing on the internet we don't have anything again you don't get anything you need to install on your own so this is not uh, like a bloatware you don't get any bloated apps here 
so these are some of the basic things you don't like get like a gimp uh, library office anything like that you just get uh, simple things so again keep an eye on the cpu and ram you don't have any heavy apps so it's uh, going under well, like 1.1 gb just consume like a 200 mb extra so i can't say anything because uh, it comes like that you don't have any apps so you need to install on your own so snaptic package manager version is here let's uh, scroll it down let me scroll it up again if you want to slow it down the video you can slow it down by going to settings in the youtube and change the playback speed uh, from 1 to 0 0.25 and you should be seeing like this so the installed version will be like a uh, highlighted with a green box and the installed version will be like this here version will be available here so let's close it down date and time let's uh, check the version 4.16 let's close this thing and again this is a pulse audio volume controller so magix let's close this so mousepad let's uh, type in like something like my channel url for example so again i'll be posting two videos daily if you want to subscribe you can subscribe if you don't want to miss two videos daily of the linux distros or some other uh, linux uh, some other uh, content so 0 0.5.10 don't save so again here are some of the customization you can customize like a themes icons fonts settings everything you already know how to customize because your xfc is uh, there from like a few years so the xfc versions are here so this is the cpu and ram consumption so i think we completed everything i guess let's close and end the video let's go to the desktop wallpapers i think they have like a four wallpaper i guess again these are all the customization on your own you can customize everything on your own so let's close this the wallpaper looks pretty awesome so that's the uh, completion of video i guess because there is nothing uh, apps comes with this thing and uh, if they have apps we should open and uh, we should be seeing the uh, task manager how much of uh, task uh, system resources it consumes but there is nothing just a few apps comes with the peppermint os so that's the end of the video thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video if you want to check that out uh, like i'll be posting two videos daily so there is already a content available in the in my channel so if you want to check that out you can check that out after watching this video thanks for watching peace out